that's the summary of the entire course. And the course is about as long as the whole as the Bible. <laughs> it's huge. But it can summarize in these few words. If you understand what that means, you don't need to do the course. You might still enjoy reading it, but you don't need it. Now, a few, these are the interesting lines here <coughs> about defensiveness. When you feel the need arise to be defensive about anything, know that you have identified yourself with an illusion. It is not danger that comes when defenses are laid down. It is safety, it is peace, it is joy, and it is God. So, when you feel the need arise to be defensive about anything, know that you have identified yourself with an illusion. When you become defensive about something, then it, it will be something that is conceptual. You as a concept or some concept you hold that you need to defend because you have identified with it, so you are defending your sense of self, your fictitious sense of self. That means you are defending an illusion. When you don't defend, because the truth of who you are does not need to be defended, so to let go of defenses can be a way of accessing the deeper dimension of who you are. And of course, it takes you beyond ego, because the defensiveness is ego. Ego is conceptual identity. And then there's one short line here. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. You are safe already, so you don't need to defend anything. Uh, that brings me to uh, <coughs> At the very beginning of the Course in Miracles, bef before even page one, there are a few lines that are supposed to summarize the entire Course, and they go like this. Nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. That's the summary of the entire course. And the course is about as long as the whole as the Bible. <laughs> it's huge. But it can summarize in these few words. If you understand what that means, you don't need to do the course. You might still enjoy reading it, but you don't need it. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Herein meaning knowing this lies the peace of God. I'll just let it be at that. I'm not going to interpret those lines. I believe it's uh, they're most powerful if you just let them sink in. Judgment, again. The choice to judge rather than to know is the cause of the loss of peace. The choice to judge rather than to know. So judgment is 
applying concepts and then you have another dimension that calls in miracle calls to know and it would I was calls in miracles would say that the judgment is not real knowing it's the illusion of knowing You have no idea of the tremendous release and deep peace that comes from meeting yourself and your brothers, brothers and sisters, totally without judgment. You have no idea of the tremendous release and deep peace that comes from meeting yourself and your brothers and sisters, I'm adding the sisters, totally without judgment. So when you meet another human being without imposing conceptualization, it does not mean you become defenseless or it just means there's a deep, you know the deeper reality of that human being. But you also know in a non-conceptual way if that the personality of that person uh, is dysfunctional, there's deep unconsciousness. You can see, you see that also. You do, it's not a judgment. You just see it for what it is, but you don't mistake the personality and its unconsciousness for who that person is.